You know, ladies and gentlemen, as, as they start to talk more and more about Silent Hill 2 Remake, I can't help but get just more and more concerned. And I don't know about you guys, I didn't really have a lot of hope for this game in the beginning because, let's be honest, the way that they've marketed this game has been terrible. They did the typical modern audience stuff. They're trying to pretend as if they're not making changes when they openly admitted that they are. They said that they were going to tone down the horror aspect of Silent Hill 2 because they flat out don't believe that the modern audience is going to be able to handle it. They have said all this stuff on record and apparently they're trying to triple down at this point not even double down where they're saying that the team never had any intention of changing anything in regards to the game's story why the fuck you lying why, why you always lying Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, when these developers lie to you and gaslight you and tell you these things, you got to read between the lines, right? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, we know it's, it's BS. We know it is because you cannot market your game the way that you did and then claim that you're not changing anything in the story because we know that you are. Right, We know that you are. We know that you're giving certain characters more leeway, certain characters more story, fleshed out, etc. That, that inherently is changing the game story. Even if it's for the better, you still are changing the game story. So it doesn't matter. You guys are absolutely lying through your teeth and trying to pretend like you're not doing something that you are. And that's because the narrative around your game right now is not very good. So let's get into this article from that park place. But of course, before we do... If you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. Bro, look at how they, look at how they murdered my girl, bro. This is fucking crap. This is like, I can't get over this fucking picture. I can't get over this androgynous looking boy character. Like, what the fuck, bro? Silent Hill 2 remake lead producer Masiedz Glump recently claimed that Blooper Team, the game developer, never had any intention of changing anything when it came to the game's original story. In an interview with VG247, Glom and creative director Matuitz Lenart were asked by Kelsey Raynor about how they managed to achieve such an authentic portrayal of the original game while enhancing it for modern audiences and what difficulties they may have faced. Uh, there's nothing There's nothing original. But I, I, hope, I hope they understand there's nothing authentic about this. There's nothing authentic about this. You can try to claim that it's authentic to the original. It's not. It is not. You literally changed the fucking characters to be for the modern audience. And then on top of that, you're changing aspects of the game for the modern audience. You don't even want to include the original horror aspects of the game to the level of which they had in the first one because of modern audience. So again, you, you guys are so full of shit. You, you live in your own world. You really do. You guys don't live in reality. You make games for yourselves. That's what you do. You're making games to convince your colleagues that you're so stunning and brave. That's what it is. You make games for the ESG and DEI investors. That's what you make games for. The gamer, that's not what you're making games for. And then you wonder why your game is going to absolutely fucking bomb and games like Black Myth Wukong can somehow, some way, get to 2.2 million concurrent players on Steam for the number two ever on Steam. I mean, what? Like, we're not even close. We're not even in the same stratosphere. Uh, Glom shared the biggest challenge is retaining the gameplay authenticity since we've changed so much, but we knew we had to. Obviously, the change from fixed cameras to front-facing cameras impacted a lot of our decisions when it came to creating monster AI and when it came to creating levels and making those levels interesting for players to explore. As for the game's story, Glom said, we were always fans of the original story, and we did not feel at any point that it needed any significant changes. We added a few things here and there, mainly to flesh out the story even more, to give a bit more exposure to some characters, which may was, was not maybe given as much in the original. We might enhance a thing or two, but we never had any intention of changing anything, he added. So this is an oxymoron. This is an oxymoron. You can't say we never had any intention of changing anything, and then you literally admitted that you're changing things. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. It, it, I, I want to make it very clear. Even if you change things for the better, even if you enhance characters, even if you give them more storyline or whatever to make it not as, you know, I, I guess hidden or whatever the case would be, you're still changing the story. You can't say that you're not changing the story when you are changing it. Even if it's small, it doesn't matter. You're still changing it. Those words are complete opposites. Despite the claim that they had no intention of changing anything, they didn't change, indeed change the game setting and dialogue. In a recent blog post, Lenar and Konami producer Motoi Okamoto shared that the setting of some events may change, but their impact on the story will remain the same. Even when new locations are introduced, we sought to refer to the original whenever possible, so that returning players will feel right at home when they venture out into foggy streets of Silent Hill again. 
As for the dialogue, the duo added the central characters from the original story. James and Maria are at the heart of our remake as well. Uh, their emotional arcs have been preserved, with great care being given to showcasing their emotions with motion capture technology. This allows us to employ show-don't-tell techniques more often, which is why some of the dialogue has been slightly altered to add an extra layer of nuance to the character's dynamics. Bro, I'm telling you right now, they're absolutely going to fuck with Maria. They're, they're going to. They're going to. I, I would promise you that 100%. Maria is going to get fucked with, I would imagine, more than James. And this is so that the modern audience can see themselves in Maria more than they're going to see themselves in James. And they're probably going to villainize James. Like, the nuance of the story in the original game, they're going to lose it all, right? And the thing is, James is the fucking villain. Like, spoiler alert, he is the villain. And they're going to fuck that up. They're going to find a way to try to make him into the sympathetic villain more than the original game tried to do. And it's just not going to end well. I'm telling you, man, this is the problem. These games were made by people who didn't have their creativity limited, or limited, I should say, by DEI. That's a big thing, right? Their, their creativity was not limited. They were allowed to create whatever the fuck they wanted because they followed the rating system. So if they wanted to go with something with dark tones, a dark story, guess what? They got that good old M rating and they went on with their lives, right? They were able to create whatever they wanted without fear of censorship for the most part or anything extreme like that. It's not like that anymore. You don't have that option. You have developers that are completely and utterly, uh, I, I would say, held hostage by their own ideology, right? So they're not going to touch on certain subjects. They're not going to do certain things because they don't want to offend people or they don't want to make it seem like they're uh, tone deaf or anything like that. They're too busy worrying about what other people think about what they're doing instead of just being creative and doing whatever the fuck your creative mind comes up with. That's a big issue that's affecting not just gaming, but movies and TV shows as well. We don't have that level of free creativity anymore because it's held hostage by ESG mandates. Lenart was asked about the change uh, to the dialogue by VG247, and he evaded the question instead touting the game's voice acting. He told the outlet, we knew from the beginning that we wanted to use professional actors to play the roles because the game is about emotions. The game is about characters and their stories, a crucial part of it. Taking that approach, we've been able to expand on the very cinematic feeling of the game. Despite Lenart's praise of the voice acting for the remake, it's already been heavily criticized. Ex-user really username wrote, Please tell me, I'm not the only one who genuinely thinks the voice acting is way worse now in Silent Hill 2 Remake, especially for Angela. Here's some comparisons. Bro, you know what? To be honest with you, they might even bring... I know I was talking about Maria earlier, but honestly, I think they're going to fuck with Angela more. I, I, I know Maria plays a big part, but Angela... I, I really think they're going to try to flesh out, suppose, you know, quote unquote, flesh out Angela's storyline more than everybody. I mean, look how they murdered Angela. I, I just, God, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. I The voice acting is terrible, though. I've already reacted to this many times. I'm not going to do it again. But if you compare it to the original game, the voice acting in the first game sounds way better than the second one. The second one, she sounds like a lost teenage boy. The first one, she sounds like a traumatized woman. That's the big difference that's happening right here. So ultimately... I don't believe a single word that Blooper Team is saying. I think they're trying to play damage control. There's no doubt about it. I'm sure the game is going to look very pretty. I mean, just look at the look at the settings. I mean, look at the graphics. It's actually very, very nice looking. I will never take that away from them. But ultimately, graphics is not what's going to sell a game. It's going to be whether or not this game is actually Silent Hill 2 or not. And from the looks of it, <laughs> considering what they did to Angela, um, I'm going to say that it's not Silent Hill 2. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.